Hello and welcome everyone, I am Ducky O'Brien and today I'll be going over a game called Himeko Sutori. Himeko Sutori was developed and published by Rockwell Studios LLC. It was released onto the PC on January 31st, 2021. The current MSRP is $22.99. I want to go over this uh, as always all of the information I'm listing is for the United States it may vary from region to region I'm a little bit old so I'm gonna lower the music just a tad it's a little loud for me okay I raised it before because I thought it was too low and now it's too loud <laughs> my ears can't make up their mind anyways this is a kind of turn-based role-playing game. It reminded me a little bit of games like Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm gonna start a new game. It has this neat kind of 2D sprite characters with a 3D background kind of thing going on. I miss the old school Final Fantasy games. Use WASD to move around. Space browser interact. You and E rotate the camera. And also the zoom out. Master Quam Kwame. Fairy. What if the dog ate the fairy and it just the game just ended there? <laughs> Directed by George Lucas. It's Professor Kwame. Or is it Kwam? I'm gonna say Kwame. We're going to go to the Crystal Tower. Uh, you can go in and just observe anything else if you want. Um, so if you notice, the characters kind of drop into the world every time the map loads in. It's a little, it's a little unsettling for me, but you do kind of get used to it. My guess is that this 
I think it was made in Unreal Engine and you I don't know how they put the 2D sprites in, but I think you can have like a uh like a 2D kind of transparent panel and have the pixels animate on it. And uh they spawn it in and then, then they have it drop down onto the floor. So I think that's my guess, but you can just interrupt their conversation if you want. Okay. You can listen in if you want. So this is them talking, and then when you go up and talk to them, it's down here. Might be a little confusing, but just keep that in mind. Okay. That's Professor Kwame. This is where you can do uh, crafting. I haven't gotten into that part yet. Oh, can't move around sometimes. All right. The movement feels a, a little bit clunky. If I'm if I'm being honest here. So, uh, <laughs> crystals, jeez, where have, have I seen this before? They protect the castle. I mean, Final Fantasy would be like, these crystals protect the world, you know? So basically it prevents people from invading the castle. Can probably bet like a million dollars that you know it's gonna break later. <laughs> okay. We did that. We're gonna go inspect the market now. So I kind of said it did remind me a lot about Final Fantasy. All right, slimes. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a lance, which is basically your platoon. You can fit five in this, but normally you can fit four, uh, from what I can tell. And you're gonna plop this as a unit down on the battle grid, which is full of hexagons. Each lance fills up one hexagon. Click on it, and then you can right click anywhere. It's the same as kind of creating a lance, you click on a unit with the left click button, place it with the right click. Alright, to attack, you click on the lance that you want to control, and then right click on the unit, you can select range or melee. end the turn. Now, you don't control any of this. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying at first.
Oracle pop. I like the things they say when the slimes are dying. Pedar. It's like, here's some money and 20 hams, 20 bread, and 20 cheese. That seems like a lot, you know? That's just really small hams, I don't know. So, basically, when you travel on the overworld map, you use food as you move your troops along. So that is also a thing to worry about. We will come back here. Look at this this guy, this little imp. So he's like, "You look weak. Buy my weapons." And I'm like, "Okay, okay, sell me." Hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. In return, talk to Professor Kwame. The uh, mission objectives are on the upper left hand corner right here. You lower the volume a little bit more. Okay. Gets a little bit uncomfortable when it's too loud. I'm hitting that age. Loud noises! Oh, wrong place. This probably has like a special ability. She can tell the crystals are working. It's like the slimes are gross. That's good news. <laughs> Realized that um, me and my cousin were talking about this too because we're trying to get into game dev, but making an RPG is really hard because you have to write so much dialogue and script so many things. Uh, like the bigger and better you want it, the more work you have to put into it. Especially if you have voice acting too, that's gonna be a lot. Um, a huge respect to anyone who wants to make an RPG. I'll tell you about the gates, it's really important, but I, I'll tell you later, and then they usually end up dying, you know? Okay, we're going to Alice Muir, we're gonna go speak to the elders and fight Bellamy. Press space bar to actually talk to the guy. Alright, now we got our items. Okay, uh, so if you look at the inventory screen, you can change out the clothes here. Uh, the initiate ribs. The interface is a little clunky for my taste, but that's fine. Okay, any any 
different weapons? I guess not. Keeps taking it off. <laughs> Stop taking the clothes off. I'm just trying to look at the uh, equipment. Nothing for the doggo. And then you do get something for the fairy later, but... Alright. Hey, we got a soldier's vest. Why don't we use that? The heck? Gunner, okay. You have to be a certain class. So when you level up, you can have characters be certain classes. There are quite a bit, it seems like. And you do that by selecting cards. I'm going to show that in a bit. Okay, so the funny thing, um, <laughs> like, we have some students that may help you. And then you, you bring them along, right? But when they die, they seem to be gone forever. So, uh, you brought some kids along, got them killed. Yes, yeah, like, I have some kids. They're impulsive and need to be taught a lesson. So, <laughs> I got some, I got some students, uh, and... Uh, when I was playing the first time through, I got them killed, and I'm like, do I resurrect them? Do they come back? And they're just gone, gone. They're just, they're just dead. So I'm like, oh god, what have I done? <laughs> okay, um... You can hire some more people here if you want. I'm not gonna hire, it's too expensive. I'll save my money for food. Okay, so now they're kind of green. So we're gonna go fight slimes to level them up. A little wonky. Oops, I was supposed to go this way. I think. Blame my old age. <laughs> I'm not that old, but I'm I'm getting there. Okay, here we are in the overmap. Uh, you can't use WASD to control. You have to click on the tiles to proceed. Again, here is the amount of food you have. You got rest here. You can press this to rest if you need to. It'll tell you when it's going down. Now, it says southwest. So, yep, we're going this way. And you don't want to enter the abandoned mines. That's what I did. I saw some skeletons. And I'm like, how hard could this be? And I went in, uh, and everyone died, so I had to run away. <laughs> okay. for this so uh, we'll have to do it later but there you have it you heard from the dude how to craft i want to go into the tavern and do the cheese quest which is hilarious 
So close, one moment life was full of hope, and now everything seems so pointless. What do we do now? <laughs> Are you thinking something big? The most exquisite cheese in the world. We've only heard the stories, and now we'll never know for sure. <laughs> they sold everything to order a wheel of cheese, and now it's gone. Ridiculous. Why would you do that? Now, if you bring them the cheese, they'll join you. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. Let's buy some food. Mmm, sausage. Potatoes. Matt Damon, live on potatoes. Okay. And we have that. I guess we could talk to the elders, but I kind of want to just go fight slimes. I'll come back later. William Wallace. Dragon eggs. Ooh, okay. Sounds dope. Ah, I was hoping I could, like, steal the chicken. defeat the raiding parties. We're not going to do that right now because our our students are green as heck and they'll die. So let's go find some slimes. We'll grab the cheese and we'll come back here and we'll call it a day there. Games like this you can't really cover in a short amount of time but all right. Where are all the slimes at? the heck? Hmm. Weird. Let's make a save. I don't feel safe. I can. <laughs> Alright. That is the cheese though. Oh, that's not it? Is it this one? That cheese cart? Darn it! The locations change slightly. Okay. Oh, what about my lances? Shoot. Alright. Can fit four people on a lance. Try to fit more and won't go in. Okay. Let me see... I don't know what the formation is like. Uh, these guys are super green, so I'm gonna add... I'll put these guys in the back to keep them a little bit safer. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? So there's a spot here with the flag. If you go there, your your lances get a buff. Mm, these guys can die if I'm not careful, so... I don't feel safe going forward like this. I'll wait a little bit. What? <laughs> okay. I 
I gotta whittle them down a little bit before I send the newbies in. Remember, I think they seem to be dead when they die. Like, I think they're gone forever. Okay. Cowards. I kind of wish you could control which units they attack, because I would want them to get rid of, you know, the one who's injured. Okay. Keep running away like cowards. Yeah, these guys are OP, but these guys will die. Have to be careful. Mm, it's a little risky to send them in. I normally, before this uh, run, on my first one, I leveled up on the weaker slams first. And uh, they were okay after you level them up a little bit. Right now, I think they might get overwhelmed. Alright. Okay, I think we're safe now. Can I attack this? They're still not... Oh my god, they're too weak. <laughs> Can't be helped. That's it? Ah, okay, well... Someone's gonna die. <laughs> Blocked, nice. Remember, this is all automated, so... Oh, them cowards. Come back. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! What? Ah, are you kidding me? Okay. I'm gonna keep playing, but I would reload here. <laughs> oh, are you serious right now? Okay. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, let's do this. Uh, that's so weak, man. There are like roaming parties of weak slimes that I killed. Uh, definitely makes the game a lot easier. I leveled up dodge for the little old fairy. Oh, no, not, not a wolf is gonna die. They're too full. Hmm, it's a little risky. We'll try it though. Um, no. <laughs> oh no. I don't like this game. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. If I do this, I kind of risk them getting pinched off. Yeah, let's not be hasty here. Wolf is probably gonna die. Ah, oh, that coward slime. Okay. Change the direction, so I might do this so the wolf doesn't get attacked because he's pretty close to dying. That's it? That's all the damage you did? Oh, <laughs> for crying out loud. Alright, I. Yeah, if you found the bandits now, you probably would have wiped. There we go, I don't want the mage, the healer getting hurt. I attacked her anyways. Okay, I don't know what to do with these guys. I should have sent them around the back to capture the flag, but it's whatever. I just started playing this game, so I don't have like a, a feel for the combat yet. Ebb and flow, so to speak. We can't even make it there. Let's just attack him. By the way, you can make your lances retreat if you bring them back here. Only one lance can retreat per turn, though, so. I have three lances out. Uh, if I wanted to retreat, it would take three turns. And I learned this the hard way by trying to kill the skeletons in the mines. <laughs> and I lost a lot of units there. I just keep trying to run away. So when, you know, picking lances, you notice that I can only do either melee or range. You probably want to have your lances be comprised of similar type of units. Uh, I think you do want healers in each lance though. It seems to be pretty handy. Sad we lost the fairy. Oh, they're so weak in the very beginning. <laughs> All right.
Wait, I want to get the cart though. Oh, weird. Last time I got like, um... I got like 30 cheese for touching that. Maybe I was supposed to grab it before the, before the fight ended. Alright, we should have enough to level up so I can show that off now. Uh, click here. And you can deal cards. And you get to choose one of three. So heavy weapons. She's obviously going to be a cleric for me. Mm, gunners and alchemist. Or control, which is CC, I guess. Mm, we'll, we'll do this. Blade Spellcraft. Yeah, I'm not gonna give this person a weapon, so I'm gonna make her a super duper powerful healer. Okay, healing, yeah. You can also unlock classes if you, uh... If you look at the cards, you'll see unlock blank class. Okay, if we increase blue element, then we will gain power for mages. Uh, okay, I kind of want marksmanship. I don't know if that... Nope. I thought that affected spells. Yes, white for clerics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Okay, I guess we can... I don't know. We're not going to use blades. Alright. Yeah, I don't have a feel for... the system, so... Okay. Sword lady. Use blades. Unlocks the, unlock the knight class here. And increase melee attack. I can increase physical defense. Okay, you can unlock the mage character class if you want. Alright, now we can change class here. Select knight. She is gonna lose her... Whatchamacallit. Her ranged attack, so just keep that in mind. Probably wanna move her over to a different squad. Actually, I can just remove the ranged person from this squad. There's only one. This person. Try to spec her for a ranger. Oh uh, yeah. Dodge is useful. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you can level up the dog. <laughs> Oh man, we could level up the little fairy, but it's dead now, so. Increase toughness. We already have been ranged though. Hmm. Black? Can you put a sword on a Sword and shield on a wolf? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought you I thought so. Alright, now if you don't want to do this. So what I did for the students, I just auto leveled because I'm like screw it, man. I I'm not gonna do this for every single person. And now whatever the game gives me, I'll try to use. You kind of want to manually do it, but <laughs> I'm like, eh, ain't no one got time for that. Mm, some of them, they leveled up as a marksman. Okay. I think from what I could tell, it looked pretty good. 
kind of tries to make your team a little bit, a little bit varied. All right, we got everyone. All right. Let me see if I can change up their equipment a little bit. Kind of want to equip something on a dog. Wait, can I just go next on this one? Oh yes, this is a lot easier. Okay, armor, student robes. This one's gonna be way better. All right. Okay, we're done here. Ah, oh, rest in peace. There's like a little forest you go into to um. Yeah, it's a, a bunch of fairies there, and you get the gear for the fairy. Uh, it's so sad. Okay. Now we're gonna go grab the dudes, and we'll call it a day there. You sort of get a small idea what the game is like. I'm pretty sure it's gonna ramp up, get more epic. I'm not going to use the save file because it lost the fairy. <laughs> okay. The most exquisite cheese. I feel so full of purpose. I must protect you, the cheese finder, for the rest of my life. And they're like, it's not necessary. Cheese finder, I pledge my life to you. <laughs> Now they've joined your party because you found them cheese. I got a little chuckle out of that. That was kind of wholesome humor there. And we can take uh, take a look at them. Berserker. Alright, we could probably... Oh, I forgot. I have to look at them and, and figure out uh, what you might call it. It's just easier if I go back out and see who has points. I can change their class now. It's gonna be way more handier. Okay. Don't like how it takes off the clothes though. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna have to equip them properly too. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. You kind of get an idea. You kind of want to put all your range units into one lance, all of your um, melee frontline units in another, kind of tactically place them on, on the battle grid. I found it handy to have healers in each squad. I don't know if that's optimal. I don't know if you can make like a healer lance and kind of position them where you need them. Because, you know, theoretically, your range units should never be getting hit, otherwise, they're out of position. But. Yeah, there you have it. We'll kind of look through. This is the supplies. You saw that before. There's a journal here. Alright. The quest. Uh, you can save your game. I recommend saving frequently. <laughs> and then we'll call it there. You get out again. Uh, the, the movement feels a little bit wonky though. It's one thing I'll say. So the hexagon kind of lance battle system is sort of nice. It feels like you're playing a chess game a little bit, but uh, I kind of wanted more control over the units myself. Like have fewer units, like Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy Tactics, but this is more like... Um, what was one game I played like this? Was it Brigadine that was like this? I don't remember. There are other Japanese RPGs like this. But yeah, this is, uh, once again, the game is Himeki Sutori, published and developed by Rockwell Studios LLC. Out now, the MSRP is $22.99. Feels very close to a traditional turn based Japanese role playing RPG. Pretty sure the developers are not Japanese, but they did a, a pretty good job kind of nailing that, that feel and aesthetic. Alright, it's a little bit rough though. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw and hopefully it gave you guys an idea what the game is like. 
If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see for me to cover, please feel free to let me know. And yeah, do not go into the abandoned mines early on. I'm just looking for the fairy forest. <laughs> uh, I can't find it. It was here. It's a little bit randomized, I guess. Glen Shars, where that dude was. Oh, that makes me so sad. Just died right away. It was there you have it, folks. As always, hope you guys are staying safe and sane out there. And catch you guys next time.